Who's thirsty? Oh my gosh. I am. Cheers, I am. Boys. Cheers. Cheers, fellas. Cheers. Amen. Long freaking week. Yeah. Yes. Do we ever have well, short weeks anymore? It's just, no. It's not getting better. No, we do better. not. Um, I see a ton of people on already, so let's just go down the and say hi to everybody. I, the first first person I see is Eric Waite. <laughs> hi, Eric Waite. Hi, Eric Waite. How's your art bag thing Andrew. going? Andrew. Tom Moore was first in there. Charles Tom Ashford. Was first. Bob. Good to see uh, that guy. Tom R. Wheelhouse whiskey. But. Locked us. Got his got his coin. Oh yeah, yeah that was awesome. Got a coin. That was cool. Thanks for the picture, it. man. Yeah, we appreciate it. From, nice. uh, Travis is on tonight. Locked us. If you're starting with a four finger, if you're starting with a four finger pour, it better be a good whiskey. Yeah. Right? What's the four finger pour you're starting with? So uh, let's go around the horn. I started with an SMWS that I pulled out of the box that. KB and, and Bob sent us. It was, uh, what was the number? 44. 44. Krakalaki. It's um, Tipple of the Bramble Hunter. Thank you. Tipple of the Bramble Hunter. Good call. That's man. a well known nice brand. Say. Right? I just knew I needed I just think it's cool now. Molly, Molly, whiskey, Molly so. hey. What you got? Uh, 135.3, which is that lot. Inch Moan. Lot Yeah, so it's, it's, it's potent. I'm not sure what the ABV is on it, but I can tell you it's, it's, it's up there. It's in there. Drew made me kill off some of the heels before we got started. I did. So. He's like, give me some. No, we're killing this one first. <laughs> we got a lot of those. What was the heel? So, uh, was it a good heel? No. Yeah, it was a heel. It was, it was the uh, Glenn Fittig 12, I think. Was. Oh, I mean, okay. it wasn't a bad heel, no. but that wasn't what it I was, was thinking it, about. It wasn't 15-year-old I, cast strength. I was going to tell him that I wanted some Deanston 20, and instead I got... <laughs> There's no decent twenty up here. You're full of it, dude. Oh you don't, want it. don't finish it. Just hiding it back it there doesn't deep. mean that it's yeah, not there. <laughs> <laughs> we got all kinds of stuff going on tonight, don't we, fellas? We do. There's one thing in particular that I can't wait There's to get to. There's a ton of good stuff to talk about. We'll get to that. This dude is like a kid in candy store. You're making <laughs> weight. Calm down. It's, it's, you. <laughs> he is really itching you're, to get. You're to that lucky part. that I have all the samples. <laughs> I even left them wrapped up so Drew wouldn't be like, where's the rest of them? Yeah. You know, this is a very similar story. I talked to KB about uh, about some SMWS bottles he put together to do a flight, and he literally said, I have them boxed up and taped in my you. spare bedroom just it. so I don't open and drink them. <laughs> oh, man. So anyway, what you're drinking the Dalmore. I think you got what? 99. Oh. 99 BB. Scotch on the Bayou's killing a bottle of HP 18 tonight. Oh, you, you know Please. what, Scotch on the Bayou? I started my first first glass tonight was a, a glass of that tomato that you brought from uh, Louisiana for us. Man, it was hot tonight. That thing hit me in the nose. I was like, uh-huh. "Woo!" <laughs> but good. Oh, in delicious. a good way. Punch yeah. in the face. Right. Like getting slapped, but the girl's pretty, right? Yeah. So you you so don't you mind quite as much. Two percent rule, right? <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to explain what that means if you don't know. Uh, uh, it's a clean show, kids. <laughs> For now. <laughs> For now. Until the wheels come off. The wheels are coming off very soon. Um, uh, Scott, so, Steve's starting out with Ball Blair 05. Wow, that's a funny topic. Right. Uh, yeah. Ball Blair 05. Lock yep. so the I, last 46%. I didn't see. I had asked Eric how his, uh, how his uh, art bag thing is going. He's been opening oh, and yeah. reviewing he's, he's several... On, he's on Isla right now. He? Yeah, yeah but he's been going through Ardbeg, um, Ooh, and uh, he's had some really nice. good ones, some some interesting ones I have not had before, so I'd love to sit down he's and chat with him drinking about some um, barrel-proof. Barrel-proof. Oh, B5 We've got... Uh, Man, got Bud, you're correct. Stuff. 
I'm totally aroused. Oh, no, stop <laughs> um, Somebody's already mentioned the Discord, so I'll bring It's not like I'm bringing it up fresh here, but somebody's already mentioned it. If you have not checked us out on Discord, you need to. That's busy all it's day. It's blowing up. I, it, it maxes out at 50, 50 I, plus messages since the last time you logged in, and I was like, I, I just want to say thank you to our moderators now because you're helping us so much because we can't even keep up it's with it. No, it's crazy. To keep up. But it's, it's awesome. fun. It's awesome. We're and yeah. Patreon, even Patreon channels now out there, we're doing different channels out there so we can talk and have audio. And all the channels have different stuff on them. Yeah. So yeah. It, it's a super it's amount of fun. So if you're not involved, <laughs> get on there. A lot of the names that I see on here are on there. Right. Every now and again. Every day. I'll go yeah. off on a movie quote, you know. Binge or uh, it's like throwing red meat to gators, is, right? It. <laughs> uh, it's a good time. I actually wow. don't mind my little uh, two minute waiting when I hit enter on my computer at work anymore. You're like, okay, I can and, wait, it's cool. My computer's slow as hell. That's, I got something to do. I'm okay. <laughs> my internet went down for like an hour tonight, and when I got it back up, there was like 80 messages <laughs> waiting for me. It's crazy. So, you guys know what shirt I'm wearing tonight? So, I do so, notice yeah. that. that so there's a reason why I was going to this show. I was going to film tonight by round of time. But there's something special I'm going to do this weekend. Cannot wait. And I'll, I'll tell you what. It's right here. Check this out, you guys. A Kavatha Vitae. The I've hardest I've got quiz it. I've had it. I've confess, I've had it for a few weeks. I've not had time. But I'm going to do it this weekend. This is it. Drewby Doo is on the hot seat. Well, on the yeah. hot seat. The Aqua Vitae oh, blind Wow. What? Look at that. Uh, it's next level. It is. It's stuff. just Without well put camera. together. Um, all the challenge envelopes. So it's going to be fun. Hopefully we're all uh, there to at least kind of um, throw Watch some color heckle. commentary. Heckle. From the Heckle's such a harsh I word. I know. Man. Appropriate. Uh, it's support. support. Support is support. much better. Is that what you guys are going to do? <laughs> Hell yeah. Is that what you think that is? I have is? a feeling you're going to see paper wads being thrown at me and... Oh, we don't know. Man, yeah. but nah, we're there coming, for you. Folks. I know a few of you guys no, you, reached out to me. It's, it's coming. It's you coming. might see a few hands go up and, let me have some of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> here's, a, here's a video. I wish, I wish there was somebody here to help me with that. There'll be a lot of editing. <laughs> I know. going to have a Sorry lot Sorry for now, Roy. Glass will start here and cut to there. I'm actually yeah. excited to see, Ooh, see you go through it. It's going to be fun. Excited too. It's I, be fun. I, I'm, you know what? Here's the thing. I... I for a while, there, I was pretty scared about it and nervous, but you know what? I don't care. I'm already a dummy. I'm just going to have fun with it and enjoy some good whiskey, so hey, looking forward to it. Who knows? Uh, there's no telling what's oh. It doesn't matter if I'm right oh. or wrong anyway. No. Gregor, why did you do that, man? What did you do? Now I'm going to have to have some. What? what? Oh, Damn. oh, the teapot. Oh, man. We ain't got time for the teapot tonight. We got a lot of whiskey What do we have to go We're going to drink. Uh, everything. We'll, we'll have teapot when it's over. Before we get going too much, we do have a couple give giveaways tonight. We do have do. some giveaways. So one of them is actually going to be... New York water. New sample York of the water. Glengrain 18. That's right. <laughs> so my lucky winner is going to have a sample of the Glengrain 18. Uh, we, just, we're not going to ship it, so it's just going to magically appear somehow. Yeah, it, yeah. yeah, depending on so where you are. Winner, you won't know. get this. They'll get a bottle of salsa instead. Right. Yeah, we're going to send salsa. Salsa. Aquarium supplies. Good salsa, though. Aquarium supplies. But <laughs> we'll get to that. Um, we have one other giveaway. We're going to do a random of everybody that's online. My mind's going to pick somebody out in the chat. So when we get, make sure you guys stay tuned for the show because um, we're going to run a little long tonight. Telex is not going to be there. And towards the end of the show, Nightbot is going to pick one lucky random person to get. To get. Oh, to Michael get Porter is having his very first sample of teapot dram tonight. No kidding. Yeah. yeah. Looky here. Good for you, sir. You There's a smile lucky. on your face. I know there is. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see your old face. Oh, is it? That's why I didn't see it. No, I don't know. I, went looking I, for I it. think uh, Sean's hiding it. Oh, I'm hiding it. What's that? I went looking for it. For it. It's in my house. I'm going to take it home. Is it really? The teapot? Bullshit. It's probably in the booth. I'm taking it home tonight. No, that's your oh, man. That is going to look like Rambo. <laughs> but, Bud says, if I win, send me the log of 112. Okay, but I'm going to confess. I actually saw you made a comment in Discord uh, the other night that said you, you've not had that one. I still have a little bit of it at home, and uh, I'm going to see if there's enough to fill one of these little bottles of salsa and, and send you some homemade salsa in the form of... I was saying you haven't had any bookers. <laughs> I've already got plans for that. All right, fair enough. Because so, I drank all mine. Bookers? Yeah. Bookers? Yeah. Oh, you got to... Booker's good. is... Hey, man, I'm not saying it's not good. Booker's is like a PhD class. Man. Him and... Who, who was the other one? 
I don't know. Let's see. That there was a lot of talk about Booker's today on the Discord channel. Anyone tried to well? run Grant That's awesome. twelve? You know what? Can't yeah. say that I have. Bud um, and Jason, I believe. No, we had the 16. That's what got us started. Well, really got us started 50. was the 50, but I can't even remember we've who bottled couple, that. Well, we've had a lot of SMWS claim grants. Well, there's four of them waiting right now. Somebody has a flight of four SMWS claim who grants. Does for that? I don't know who does that. Ask Bob. Bob might know. <laughs> I've got a flight of log of one waiting for company. Hey, so everyone nine, says 12, I got the 16. banana on the finish. You know what? I, I had that too. It was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. I'm actually looking forward to having a glass now. We'll Which one? The Glen Grant. Yeah. Small bottles of aged salsa. I think I give it a four. Yeah. Let's talk about this, guys. So let's talk about the GG. It was a good one. I give it a yeah, four. Right. We, we all give it pretty high. You, on the other hand, will let us have your share because you didn't like it. So I, 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 I believe you. you try it again. What, what exactly would I have? I would call it a, a pimp slap. <laughs> <laughs> Look how empty that bottle is. Well, that's from sampling. Do you remember what you gave it? I don't know. 2.5. 2.5? So, this, this is new release. This is new release for Glenn Grant. This is a, they just came out with this in their core range. Yes. Within the last year, I'll say, right? Yes. I don't know the exact date. Um, 16 is now gone. You can still catch that one on shelves, though. I just saw one at the uh, liquor store that we went to the other day. Yep. Um, but they dropped the, mm-hmm. the 16 out of the core range, and they added the 15 and the 18. So... This is one of those two. I don't think we've done the 15 yet. Um, I need to make some room in my glass and rinse it off because I've got some SMWS in there well, we, right now. That's we did a, try the 50, and the 50 was all right. Well, the too. 50 was pretty uh, good. <laughs> who? Are, do you remember who bottled that? That was an independent bottler. It was I Fail, I think. Really? Yeah, I think it was. I'd have to go back and look at that thing. I think you're right. I don't recall. I have to look back. She was see. about that yeah. size. Yep. Yeah, she was. I don't, I don't so know if she was that big. I think I, I, think I licked the bottle. <laughs> if you didn't, we totally should have. Yeah, yeah. I paid ridiculous. a lot of money for that little bottle, but it worked. It, worked. it was memorable. The, the funny part about that whole story was going in the liquor store the first time, and we're like, they were like $120 for this airline bottle. I mean, There's it's no 50-year-old scotch, but who's paying that, right? We're, we're, we're totally paying that. We're, we're <laughs> bringing that I didn't pay that much, but I paid... Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's the same. So, you guys got to pour this because I'm. I wonder what well, sort I'm of. I'm still drinking wonder what sort of jackasses are going to buy this bottle. Scotch heads. We're working on it. <laughs> <laughs> I got to go sell some plastic. Get, real gets quick. into your dreams, back. right? <sighs> How much for a kidney? <laughs> <laughs> In college, it was plasma. Now it's, you know, part of my liver. <laughs> The, the good part. <laughs> right. The beauty is livers grow back. You're gonna, exactly. You're going to so, have to take some off the left side. <laughs> everyone wanted to know about the, the 50. I don't think, did we score? I think we just tried no, to enjoy it. Right. Yeah, uh, we, all we did we was flat out. And right. Right. put it on a, um, I think you actually, your eyes rolled back up in your head. Right. And you're all like, oh my God. Looking back now, we, we started doing the it's live like a transcendental thing. moment. I, I feel like we were pretty, you know, Early edge. adopters to the whole live thing, but we did it on Facebook because that was only really because re- able YouTube to, didn't have it didn't have it yet for us, and so we didn't start doing live That's way after crazy. that. Crazy! And I remember recording the Facebook. Of, I, I remember uploading it from my We're, camera. It was such piss poor quality, but it's out there. That was a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. I can't Sounds believe, like I can't believe we were doing live it before it, so before you can YouTube edit had it correctly. I like the way you think. That's but crazy. I ain't got the checkbook for it. I like the way you think. Just Ooh. stop right there. Stop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't think anymore. We haven't got a hold of that OP17 yet. No, uh, but um, I would like to get a bottle of that. I would too. OP17? You haven't had it? No. And I believe it's the OP18 that KB had confiscated from him. <laughs> That's a sad story. This is my scotch. Man. That's a sad uh, story. You guys like this one? Oh, man. Let me let me get into this, Grand Grant. I scored it right. Still the same? Still. It's this super sweet, like, candy floss, um, almost like a, a sl- slurpy sweet kind of kind of scotch. And it's just, it's not my style. And that's... I don't think it's that sweet. I don't think it's that sweet either, but I don't remember. I get it. No. <laughs> it's, like, it's like an icy. Mm. An icy? Didn't you uh, know, like, oh, yeah. cinnamon been toast your little and brown smell? sugar and... Are Box of stuff. Yeah, I, are you snorting the salmon again? <laughs> what? It's possible. You smell the little. You take the cap off and smell the one of the seafood. Oof. That's bad stuff. I'm disappointed in you, cap. bud. 
You suggest that you'll have a liver left to be donated to science. Mm -hmm. Benny says it will. It will just look like a little raisin. (laughs) Tom said Benny's has a 17. It'll be 17. Yeah, we might have to go to Benny's to get that. Well, let's talk about that. I think we're gonna make a trip up to Benny's for some. Oh, I've seen dozens of 17s at Benny's. So next month, about six weeks away, maybe five weeks. um, I think it is actually March 20th, 21st, and 22nd, somewhere in that neighborhood that week of. The 22nd, I think, is the actual date of Whiskey Fest, isn't it? No, 29th. 29th. Friday. 29th, I'm a week ahead. So the 29th is Whiskey Fest in Chicago. We will be in attendance, all five of us, I believe. We're we're working on... You're in. Working on it. He's got to get... You got to get clearance, Clarence. No, I have clearance. There's Ooh. other issues. There, there's a uh, there's a lodging. There's a lodging. We're trying to work out lodging logistics. Ah uh, man, that's just a vector, Victor. You got this. You're in. <laughs> hey, all five of us are there. I'm not worried about vector, it. Victor, Victor. Um, a couple of us, Drew and I, are going up uh, a day or two earlier on Wednesday. We got work to do there, but we're gonna do some stuff at night. We're gonna we're gonna work. catch up with Ben Dietrich. Uh, we're gonna see what's going what? on in his office. We're gonna go yeah. kick his door down and maybe, get, like you did, get yeah, into some yeah, good yeah, stuff. Right. Um, that was a good day. We are definitely gonna <laughs> hook up with Tom and go yeah. check out. Benny's. Benny's and Benny's event is the night before Whiskey Fest. Which we'll be up there for that. You guys yeah. will be up by then. Uh, so we're all going to go crash the Benny's event and see what's going on there. Um, we're also going to make a sp- uh, pit stop by Warehouse Liquors, I think it's called. Yeah. Is that the one downtown? I don't know where it is. I don't know how Tom we're going to get there. Tom can answer that. Is that the one? We're going to make it. But we have. Uh... Bob H said he can do Thursday, Friday. I think you should be there, Bob. I H. think you should Bob. totally I'm be there. I'm pretty sure KB's planning on coming in himself, so just book it, Dano. Um, share a room. You'd be good to go. But so the point is, anybody within, you know, the local miles. area, man, just There's some really good whiskey. A thousand miles. Yeah. <laughs> we drove every, all the way to Kansas. Because <laughs> everybody has a flight to Chicago. I mean, Chicago. Everybody flies into Chicago. So. So. But nobody wants to fly into Chicago. Yeah. You ever flown into O'Hare? No. <laughs> well, but it's, it's, it's like it's in it's in a marsh, so you might have yeah, arrow hair in the spring. But it's gonna be it's gonna be a really good Risky. time. Um, we've been told we haven't been to this whiskey fest. We went to one in New York City. We're told it's a totally but, different atmosphere. But totally we're, different. Uh, we were told on good authority that, that we're this gonna one's, enjoy this one quite a bit. This one yes. supposedly is the shiznit. We need yeah. to start you know hydrating now. So we're coming in told. to talk to you know some of the ambassadors, but a lot of those people will probably have already talked to at other events. So we're I'm I'm personally looking Downtown forward to South seeing Park. a lot of of people that know us and and yeah. interacting with people and getting to talk to people. It's a ball blur like to me, that's awesome. Sure. They oh are. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, they are because it's it's uh, Steph. <laughs> You're gonna make this work, aren't you? Yeah, Steph Ridgeway is gonna be <laughs> yeah, there. So that, she's she. That, that's how you. Hello. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Bud, there's a direct flight from Arizona to Chicago. Bud, you should totally come. Oh, there. hell yeah, dude. Fly, fly southwest. Like, it's my anyway. wedding weekend, but I'll be there. <laughs> right? You guys trying to get him a divorce. Anybody's got any bottles of ball blair lying on it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, I, I think it's a great nose. I, 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 enjoy I, mean, I love it, too. It's awesome in the nose. It's not... It is it is sweet in the nose. I haven't it's, tasted it yet. But. It's lighter, subtler flavors. What what else in that nose is there besides sweetness? So, I I, I get honey, I, I get candy. There's... I get subtle cinnamon and allspice. Yep. I get a little brown sugar. There's a there's a malty like toast quality to it. A little it. bit of light like oak going yeah, on too. I don't know about that. I'm not sure about oak and malt. some vanilla. Just gotta get that sniffer fixed, dude. And there's a little hint of orange zest. Too much I was going to say, I get a little hint yeah. of ginger, but maybe that's... Mm. Too much oboe. Mm. <laughs> Close to that. Too that much might be the... Mm, that's good. <laughs> Let me tell you, <laughs> band said... doesn't smell good either. Wow. No, it doesn't. <laughs> if you've ever been in a band room after practice, it does not smell good. It's a multi taste to it. So that sweetness up front, and then just immediately dissipates into that multi finish. And it's got a that's nice good. finish. It's, it's a nice glass. I like, I it. like it. I mean, it, it's, it's definitely not your deeper, you know, flavors... It's on the lighter side, but I think the reason why I liked it is the combo of the price was not bad, the the complexity of the lightness of it is there. It's something yep. that to it's intriguing. It's not something they're going to go, oh, okay, it's one sided or a couple of tastes. It's like yeah. you it can evolve, it can, yep. can grow, and as you're drinking. You said that their previous was fifteen and eighteen, no, or 16. 15, 16. sixteen, sixteen, and I think what? that was, was it. fifteen and eighteen. They might have had a twelve and a sixteen. I've never seen the twelve. So how so how much what what's this one? Oh, this is like one thirty five. 
And what the, the, you can what get did the 16 run 16 for? 16 is here. Do you remember? I, I, think it's, it's I close actually, to the one I picked up was 65 bucks. Oh, yeah, yeah, see, that's yeah. what I thought. They, it's higher now. It's, it's higher now. What do you have to do to get that? Okay. It was at the new Payless down, down in yeah. play. It, they just opened up. And I don't I'm think not they, judging, man. I know. <laughs> we don't care. <laughs> Easy trick. I, I don't but need your That's what I'm saying. It's twice as much as a 16. I mean, it's not. So I don't think they you knew all what they know. Had. You can take the number three bus, go down to Crenshaw Street, exactly. <laughs> yeah, and just shut. It's a, so what I like about this, Crawl is, before you want. I like the flavor of it. It's different. And so being a mood scotch drinker, like I am, I don't know what I'm going to want tomorrow night. Tomorrow, you know, I might. I go downstairs and I want to have a dram. I'm not. I don't know oh. what I'm going to be in the mood for. Oh. This gives me a different option. That it gives me a different me. Uh, possibility. Major damage. I, I uh, major. I was just. I was listening to Whiskey Cast yesterday about Good the show. new Alta. Uh, Has it been released yet? I mean, I, he was Marine at the right? uh, the launch party. Oh, okay. He so got invited. Probably. That was what prompted my text. Uh, yeah, I but I was excited for Andrew because I want to try it because the the bottling is done with wild yeast that was cultivated from the barley farm that the barley came from to make the whiskey. Is that that new? So, Andrew, mm-hmm. okay. tell us, like, I'm sure to lay people, that's like, oh, well, you went and got some wild yeast. How, how good of you, right? How difficult is it to do that? Well, to culture the yeast, to get a single strain of yeast is incredibly difficult. So I don't know if it's a single strain. Or if they just good. they just took the strain and they were able to reproduce it in a vat or whatever and, and kind of keep it fairly uniform, but the yeast is really important because that adds all your esters and your um, um, aldehydes and things that really add that kind of round uh, <laughs> that round <laughs> flavor to it. Yeah. So yeah. so it, the thing is, what's going to take? It's going to be very different than any other Glenmorangie. And that's because what they were talking about. Different. Well, exactly. and it affects that, it affects the alcohol energy. content. You know how how long can those yeast produce yeah. before they're killed by the alcohol? All the sweetness. Yeah, and, yeah. So that would leave residual sugars in the bat. So I mean, there's a lot of things that go into this when you change it up. It will be a completely everybody scotch. uses the same yeast. Like that's just how it is. They use absolutely. You know, you use brewers yeast and distillers yeast. Like tried and true. You know, it is what well, it is. They do use different strands of it, but they use their strand. Yeah. That's it. Oh yeah. So so you know, like Budweiser, they have a single organism. Right. It's their yeast. Yep. Mm-hmm. They, they they have their. That's that, their little baby. That, here, the right? entire yeah. Budweiser brand has come from a single yeast cell that has been cultivated and expanded, and it's the same yeast they use at yeah. all the distilleries. For everything. they just keep it locked up and they keep feeding it. They they literally have it lo- under lock and key. They create a master cell bank, and that, that is the yeast they use for Budweiser. And every time they and go they to do a new batch, they're like, get out the gimp. And they're like, the gimp's sleeping. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's no joke. Said so I, I, I'm interested in that because I like the Glamorania Star, which is they've done different castings. So it's, I'm interested in see what they can do. It'll be fun. Well, It'll apparently be. this isn't the only one because they were, oh, really? they were saying that they have, like, done this for several years. They've shut down for a week. Just to do this, oh, to clean up everything, to, to clean and and to do this batch Sanitize and then to the yeah, other yeast because getting getting the yeast, especially if they're using um, wooden fermenters. Yep. Holy. Well, count. they were talking Sanitizing about that, good getting luck. the. They were talking about examining old washbacks to get old yeast strains that uh, had been used yeah. before, which I was like, now nah, you're like that's how the zombie apocalypse happens right, right there, right. <laughs> Don't mess yeah. around with that. Let me tell you. The thing, the thing about <laughs> wild yeast. Bring dinosaurs back. You know what happens. Right? Wild yeast can be fantastic. Let's bring this back around to you guys. And okay. wild, yeah. wild yeast can create some serious <laughs> foam. Actually, let's bring it back around science. to the giveaway and how you're going to do the giveaway for uh, for this particular. The Grant. Yeah. So Cage match. We actually, um, <laughs> to the death. So, on our Glenn Grant video, um, you know, we trip typically do the same ending for most videos. Where we're all kind of still talking in the background, talking sure, about blah, stuff, blah, blah, blah. blah, blah. But in this, in this video, I actually cut a blooper at the end of it and extended it and opened it up. And I put a little thing that says, if you see this, type this below. It says, I stay to the end. And so, we actually had around 20 plus people stay till the end. And comment. And comment. I stay till the end. end. <laughs> so those people are the ones that are eligible oh. for this sample. But don't go away. We have another one for everyone. 
That's on tonight. That's on tonight. A different, well, different so giveaway. The way we're going to do this, if you guys want to do it now? Yeah, we're, we're up. You're already talking about we're it, talking, man. That's right. While so you're talking, I'm going to have a little sample so of this. What is that? I'm make Ball Blair. This is the store version of Ball Blair 05. So I'm going to try this to equalize my palate well, before we dig into something else. Okay, so hold on a second. Go, go ahead and do your thing. Well, but we also have, I guess, that dram to do. So before we get into two stuff, I mean, I don't, oh. I don't want to do our palates too much. and Right. You guys can let me know when you want to do that part. Okay. But here's the deal. So I'm going to pull up a list. The list is up right now. These <laughs> are <laughs> the people that are really? eligible. Really? For the Glenn Grant. And I'm going to have Siri pick a number, 1 through 22, and that person will win a sample. All, All right. right. I'm good? All right. Okay. All right. You got a number. Quiet. You're ready to go. We're ready to go. Okay, quiet. Pick a random number between 1 and 22. That would be 11. 11. 11. Dun, dun, dun. Steve A just poured some ball in 90. is? Doris. I have one glass of that one. <laughs> yep. Boris size 69. There it is. That's the winner. <laughs> Boris, is he online? I don't know if he's online or not. I don't think so. Everyone but, uh, said he stayed to the end but didn't comment. He just said, oh, <laughs> he lost it. He stayed to the end but he didn't see the show. Oh, so man. We'll, we'll work it out with him um, and get, um, we'll comment him on, you know, we'll figure something out via the YouTube app and go from yep. there. We'll get a hold of him because we'll he stayed here. to the end and he gets something for it. Heck so, yeah. So that's pretty cool. Congratulations, sir. We'd, now, like, we'd like to give out prizes. We'll yeah, talk we, about we, this. Actually, we do. We got another one for everybody that's on uh, on the chat tonight. That's watching the show. Um, dinner with Mark. Give away with that, but <laughs> dinner with Mark. That. <laughs> so don't threaten them. Do you want to do that or we want to do this? Let's I, do this. You want to do this? <laughs> He's ready. I'm already drinking. All right. So, so all right. Let's so talk this through. Sean okay. is already that's trying to equalize his palate against an, a Ball Blair 05. This is just okay. a standard 05 that you this can get. This is the get. one that I brought over. You can get this on it's the shelf. 46. Uh, well, you you could get it on the shelf. At one right. point. Maybe this not was this, this was the distillery offering. I had it shipped. Okay. So, but this I is an 05. 05. 46% ABV. Correct. Okay. Flat out, that's it. It is Whoa, 12 years old. What happened? Um, well, first time to 17. All right, nervous. so we're setting. We're, we're all gonna to get into this a little bit and try to just you know are balance we, are, out the power. Are we good with everything? We we set the stage here. Not yet. We're, we're getting, getting there. Okay. So why are we doing we're this? Not. Because because so I've been busy. Because Sean's been in contact and finally has received two samples of well samples of two different casks from the Ball Blair Distillery. Yep. Okay, These, no. you know, there's there's two bottles. Two of samples each. of two casks. Yeah. Oh, These two are cool. our first two samples that we're going to review for the potential for Scotch for Dummies single cask bottling. Right. No guarantees. Um, we may taste these and be like, you know what? Neither one of them, like they might be good, but not quite up to where we want them to be. Um, keep in mind that this process is a little. Like, there are some constraints on it. Like, like, we can't really get rid of 600 bottles of scotch probably right away. So, you know, we're probably not getting a, uh, a sherry hogshead, right? Unless we have an investor uh, that can put up 100,000. Right. Um, so that restricts us to, you know, more ex-bourbon cask scotches. Um, so that's in the 200 to 50 bottle range. Um, and then, you know, we're just looking for what's available and what we can get our hands on. Um, so these are two that they had available. Uh, I contacted them a week or so ago, Careful. and they went out to the Dunnage house, uh, got us some samples, filled up some bottles, and shipped them to us. And they arrived at my doorstep this morning. So and I have done an excellent job of not opening them. So... So those of you that know, those of you that know um, laboratories, looks like they got some paraffin. Yeah, on don't here. open all four of them. Just no. open one of yeah. each. Yeah, one of each. well, one of each. Yeah. Right. One of each. Yeah. What is this? Paraffin. So basically, why we are trying to set a balance, uh, uh, mm -hmm. you know, cleanse our palates with the O5 is well, because these two different casks are what, Sean? You have an O5 and an O6. Yep. Right. They're both. Uh, they're they're both bourbon. Uh, ex bourbon barrels. Um, the no. 05 is. I don't know, you guys got the bottles. It, it's yes. currently at what right. percent? Oh, What's yeah. its ABV? 52.4% ABV. It says cask number 231. Okay. And, and that's the, the 
05. That's the 05. So that's the one same year as yeah. I had it. 12 year. <clears throat> right. This is what I have 12 year. I'm not ready for that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to balance out with this 05 first. I want to see if this is the foundation. So this would actually be aged two more years than the one that we just tried. Right, because this one's still being it's, aged. Correct. It's still in the barrel. Correct. Mm-hmm. correct. And then this is the 06. Wow. Which is 55.6. Is that Mike's? So that's so, a little hotter. A little hotter. A little yes. hotter, a little younger. Um, Color-wise, they're very similar. Yeah. Um, and they're both a little bit lighter than the... Um, uh, they're really light for cast strength. I mean, it's really... Well, that well, depends on the barrel. And it's a yeah, bourbon barrel. There's, there's nothing but they're, that's going to darken it, really. When we barrel, when we bottle it, we'll put E150 e in it. Negative. <laughs> we shan't do that. I'm going to go grab another bottle of water. Yeah. We need to rinse those This has actually got a pretty good nose on it. The 05. Yeah. I like it. The regular 05. Yeah. So I'm, uh, I'm excited to see what this has in store. A little spicier? I'm excited about all that, man. All right, let me rinse the glass out and let's, let's go for so this. This smell, smells good. I got roasted peanuts the first time I smelled it. Really? Yeah. I mean, I cannot keep up with you, Sean. <laughs> I know. I just poured a little one, man. Yeah, that's right. I it's barely. Thursday. We got a lot to do. Lot to do. Alan Ward! <laughs> Alan, hey, Alan Ward. we're gonna have a. He uh, made it. He, he messaged me today. Said he wasn't sure he's gonna make it because he's got. Uh, he does something on on Thursday. We're gonna we're gonna have to. Uh, we're having a powwow right. tonight, right? We're gonna get this. We've got we've got, a, we've got dates picked out. So we are totally going to come. It's yes, we do have dates. dates picked out to come down into your neck of the woods. Yeah. So and, you'll uh, be getting uh, you'll be getting an email from us because we we're pretty pretty well there, and I, we're very excited about it. So. You'll be hearing like from us soon. Concentrated, like super, super <laughs> honeycomb. honeycomb. Mark Gwynn yeah. said to make it green like St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that idea. That would exactly. be yeah, funny. So we're we're going to make our um, scotch look like Irish whiskey. A little bit. So you said this is 46, 46. and that is 52.4. Okay. Well, it's really not that much more potent, believe it or not. Uh, I think that might be able to do a little. I think that a little bump up. I'm just having a little, a little smidge here, man. Actually, I'm gonna use one of these. Would you grab me a coin? Do we have a spare coin laying around? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we do. All right, fellas. It's on. It's it's <clears throat> softer than the other one. I don't get as I don't get as much spicy notes. It's got a nice sweet nose to it. I'm going to let that sit for just a hot second and drink some water here. Um, so, talking about these samples and, and, and trying to figure out if this is going to meet the muster for us or Ooh. not, we've, we've kind of posted out there, you know, what do you guys think it should be? What's the minimum, the bare minimum? Do you think this should be a, a two out of four scotch and go with it, two, five? And, and I think all of us want to go with like a, at least a three, five out of four. Is that realistic? I don't know. I, I, it has to be at least a three, yeah, average, at least a three. in my book. It yeah. has to, I guess the point, and we were talking about today in our in our patron channel on Discord, and you know the patrons were talking about like, what is it you need? What is, what's going to really bring you over the edge? And one person said, you know what? Would you stand in line for this? Or, 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 That's would, exactly right. And, and I'm like, yeah, it's a good point. I'm like, it has to be. Well, standing in line is one Bob's thing. Is three, two, five. Here, I, I think it has to be at least a three. A three to me, or a three. I mean, standing in line yeah. is probably a four. So I'm, I'm thinking probably a, a three to three five is what I'm looking for. Something that I would I go buy this bottle. And yeah, this is an SMWS. I mean, look at Kubokin. Look at some of the ones I love that aren't that expensive. Yeah. I totally love Loose. those, and I, I would give that. So to me, it has to be a Kubokin, something I'm going to want to lust for and buy. And that's what, to me, you know, hopefully one of these is that. I want it to be memorable. I want it to be something yes. that somebody takes a switch sw- sw- and they're one. like, oh, yeah. this is this is this is awesome. And it's our first. Right. I don't want to come out of the gate kind of limp. Hey. <laughs> Fair enough. But, you know, at the same time. You can't be too picky. Well, because right. here's the thing. Right. We can we can totally get a three, five or a four. But we don't have the money for it. But, but yeah. I mean, the ones we were looking at are like, here you go. 
it's it's gonna cost you like almost three hundred bucks a bottle, and there's six hundred bottles in this cask. Yeah, <laughs> and, and you're like, gosh dang, because I mean they give you the suggested retail what this should go, for, you know, because um, the way we've got to go about doing this, you guys, we're being in the states is we technically are gonna buy a cask, but it's going to be bottled and everything, and it's going to show up in the states bottled, bottled all right. So ready to go. At, at the end of the day, we're in, we're gonna end up buying. All the bottles from that cask. Now they're going to send us the empty cask. Yes, yeah. we'll have the cask itself. We're going to chop it up, and everybody that buys the bottles getting a part of the cask because that's <laughs> what, three for the three and at least two for Andrew. Who said that, Moose? Hey, guys, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not oh. liking it. I know whiskey I like. It. I'm going to eighteen with not what oh. I think I like. Yeah. Bud wow, says it has to be um, 60 and above is, on the ABV. First, first impression is perfumey. Mm-hmm. Really? Is this, this 05 or 06? 05. 05. This is 05. The higher. It's light. I am not trying to get this thing. I, so I honestly think I like it a little better than yours, but I think it might just be because it's a little higher, higher ABV. ABV. I'll be honest but with you. But it's, it's, it's not as spicy as much Mark, Mike's. Mike's. And my, I think it smells very much like Mike's, just stronger. Just, just hotter. stronger. Yeah. I, it, it doesn't taste it, though. It really I don't doesn't. I think it smells The palate like is, a lot more in, is a lot more interesting to me. Hey, do you still have a bottle? Pour, pour a small glass of your five, just so we can yeah, do a, 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 a comparison. It's important here. I just had it in here. Okay, yeah. yeah it's something to so it's, Where do all my glasses go? Bit. We're using them. We're, we're going to have to do dishes well, we tonight. Over here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot about that. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. We're doing dishes. So, yeah, that's not, it's not the same at all. No, this is. No, that's not the same. You can tell this is. Bumped this up is to sweeter. I mean, yeah. This is definitely. This, this, so, I will say this is more. If I'm not if I'm not going peat, I'm not going heavy fruit. This oh, is wow. more of my wheelhouse. This right? is more oh. of the kind of basic, traditional classic. This makes style. that smell. This is, like... this is probably closer to what you're looking yeah. for than that. I mean, it is. Mm -hmm. It is because this ha this is more of the. Um, it doesn't have that super sweetness. It's got more of that rich, malty kind of bread the biscuit. That it's kind of. A little actually, I'm not getting with smoking that. at it's all. I, I find this <laughs> no. to be much more balanced. It is balanced. I, I agree. Than the other one. I think like the Grand Grand 18 was kind of oversweeted for me. This is this is a better a better balance. Now it's not rich flavors, so you do have to search a little. Eh, not too hard. I like the nose. I think the nose is friendly. It's it's, it's it tastes like the nose. Mm-hmm. There's a little sourness on the back. That on the Ooh, interesting palate. finish. I would oh drink God. another glass nutty, of that. A nutty, almost like a peanut, like a nutty. A, see, I got I got roasted peanuts on this one too, but this one is much more subtle and balanced than this one. This had a couple of flavors and and smells What's that the stood out. Fifty two. Yeah, I think this is going to be ro really good with water. I just drank all mine. Mm. Let me know if it's good with water. Good well, so I'm, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> at, at the end of the day, you tell me how that goes. No uh, matter what happens in the next 10 or 15 minutes, I'm going to come back to those other samples fresh without having any whiskey. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to come back to them right fresh. Oh, you gotta do it fresh. Man, just Andrew's getting get beat right up, up on here. Because. <laughs> what did I say? We all have to. <laughs> Lee said we had to score on a curve. Is it twenty? Lee said we had to score on a curve because tough. of you. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do that. I, Did you put water in there? I think it's really pleasant. I I like nice. this glass. Honestly, so we're, we're talking about see. what a hundred, hundred and ten. I mean, we don't know exactly until we know how many bottles they get out of the keg and or the cask and all that stuff. But it's a keg. <laughs> I mean would you pay a hundred bucks for this? Mm, I don't know yet. Right 14, off the cut, right, Fourteen it, year old I scotch. Mean, if, if this 52%. is all I had to judge from and you said you gotta make a decision, I I'd throw a bill at it. I, I mean, just because I, I'm not done with it. I, I want to know sure. more. I, it holds water I, And it's fine. worth it. Well, fine. My, my whole thing with any scotch is, if I get done and want to go ahead and pour another glass, that then water made that to me is all I need to know. So, And I would like to pour another glass. 
What I want to do on my next next, next trip through these these samples yeah, is I want to pre-pour this and let it and sit. I want to let it sit for 30 minutes and then I want to come at it fresh. I might actually take a little bit of a really balanced, easy going scotch just to get a little alcohol on my palate so it doesn't kill me. But I want to come at this out the gate. Yeah. Yeah, you, if you're gonna, that's and I say it because that's I, not how we do any of our reviews. I know, but but, but that's <coughs> how I drink my scotch. I let last really? night every every night I go downstairs. We're gonna play some PUBG on Xbox. <laughs> I go downstairs and Drew's like, "What are you pouring?" I'm like, "I don't know." And I look at the bottom, I'm like, "I don't know." I don't. And then I pour some, and I sit down and I'm playing, and I'll take that first couple sniffs and drinks, and then I'll have to pause. And I'm like, "Wow, what? you know, is this the way I remembered it last night?" I don't know. I mean, I go through all of it. I always pictured you oh. just drinking with one hand straight out of the <laughs> bottle. I got one of those helmets on, it's a straw, and I'm like, hey, he's over there, shoot him. No, I mean... I mean, nobody else is drinking this, right? I, it, you know, I actually commented, I, I threw you a compliment last night while we were playing. I'm like, you know, Drew, I said, Andrew said the other day we were reviewing, he's like, he, he, he said how much he really appreciates just nosing the scotch. Just, I mean, yeah. yep. I do that all the time. I, I'll take 45 minutes to an hour over a glass just because I really appreciate God, that smells so you know, and I kind of build, it's like tantric sex, and then I build it up a little bit. Look to then see, I go in and look get to, some. Look to, see what, look to see what Bob Nobody said. buys that. Not yours? It's not for me. Okay. If Mark wow. says, hello, lover. Damn, my Bob. I'm out. Hello, You're Drop out? the mic. He's out. What happened? It's just, it's not, it's, it's not, not kicking free it. for me. Okay. All right. I, it, it's just me. It's not free for me. It's it's not bad, but it's not, I was hoping the water would bring out more, more, Richness, more malty. It is more sweetness. It's 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 opened up some more. I mean, exactly. I need to be fair when let it sit here for a little bit, come back to it. But my first impression is not a three. Sorry, guys. No, I don't apologize. It is what it is. I agree. This one smells it is sweeter than sweeter and less spicy. That one. I give it two five, maybe a two. I like the nose better than this one. Pick on the on the O five. Not the regular. Oh, I don't. Ooh. Okay, Hello. I think the water did some damage to Ooh. this. But I like the palate better on that one. I don't think I don't try has, try the O six. No. I will, but I, I honestly I don't think I, I think the water damaged the nose on this. And maybe I went heavy on the water because I didn't have much whiskey in there. But um, this this is my first pass at it. Hey Scott, this is hey uh, Scott. All right, Scott. this tastes yeah. a little so, bit. This has got to be boring for so the people. So let's go around. I know, I know, but I mean it's important. I mean we're we're tasting this yeah, live. This, this is, is this is serious stuff for us, and I, yeah, I apologize is, if we are, you know. But I mean, it's this is you are witnessing whether we go forward or not. Look so, at the legs on what this. What do you think, Sean? I I would probably on that 05, I liked it better than the one Mike brought over. I thought the flavors were were more well balanced. I liked a little higher ABV. Um, honestly. I mean, I would, would probably, you buy this? yeah, I would. I mean, to me, here's the thing. I would, when I got done, like I said, my my ultimate judge is if I get done and I want to pour another glass, that's a good scotch to me. Score or no, if I get done and I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna have some more of that. That to me is a decent glass. Um, and I felt that way about this one. I also was trying to think of it as like an SMWS bottling, right? Yeah. And I've had some SMWS bottlings that were. Some were outstanding, and some were just, you know, I don't want to say average, but, you know, there are some that are better than others, right? Tim Castring. And so this one I would rate as that, you know, pretty good, you know, not blow the doors off, but you're also looking at like $100, $110, too. You know what I mean? So the price point does factor in there. I mean... Absolutely, it does. But uh, Tim asked the question: Will we be watering these bottles? No, we're bottling no, it. No, all that cast strength, yeah. Yeah. natural coloring. Um, I can't give it more than a two five, mm. right now. I agree. I I would give that one a two five. Mm. This one. Um, Did you pour another one already? Yeah. Six, yeah. Yeah. Damn, I cannot keep up with you, dude. Well, that's why because you pour that much. We don't pour a. Yeah, I'm, I'm just pouring I, a little I, bit because I want to just taste I, it. But very small. I want to I want to get into it and, and really evaluate it here. So, so I'm guys, trying to do this fast. You guys come fresh, hanging out like Sunday or fifty-five point six. This one's a little hotter. It's it's more full bodied. It, it's got a more full mouth feel. I think. The legs are better. 
You're right. We do look underwhelmed. I was not. I was not enjoying. The old five. I was not like excited about that. That O six has potential though. That does. Mm. The that O six has, yeah. has richness. The I know. Quang. It's like crazy. I didn't oh, realize when I was swirling around my glass, and I was like, oh, "Wow, there's like is. racing stripes on my glass." Yeah, no way right? they can see that. But yeah. no way it's, they can see that. But it's this is crazy. You know, everybody keeps saying that Glen Grant fifteen is uh, hundred. You know, it's fifty percent ABV. Damn it, I need a bottle of it. Yeah, I need to get it in our life. Really. Yeah, it's Glenn Master Grant? 15. So that's it, the new release, right? Yes. And I'm like, and gosh, damn it. Percent ABV? Yes. Let's get on that, man. That's what I'm talking about. Time for me to get some of that. Mm. Okay, so let me let this sit like I did the other one. Let's, let's give that. Is that the 06? Yeah, let's just give that a few minutes to to, to breathe. Well, um, roll it roll in your glass. I it's, did. It's got some super legs, man. It does. It's got legs. Like a track star. <laughs> yeah. Is that what you married one? Like yep. Doesn't hurt anything. I like it. Well, let's just sit for a second and see what happens. Um, I, you know what's funny? I, I wasn't expecting. Yeah, I, I really wasn't expecting there to be yeah. like a huge difference between the two. I mean, it's a couple more ABV. It's one less year in the cask, right? But it's just Same cask. new make. <laughs> yeah. But it's so, it's definitely got a different thing going just on. Just like I want a ninety-one. They, there's a 91 out that I want to try next to the 90. That, I wow. bet you do. <laughs> well, of course. So this, this, has, this has more that's barrel your, influence. Yeah, difference yeah. too. So I'm getting more wood and oak in this, which is kind of kind of what I like. So this has, I think this is better. Well, so and, and again, at the end of the day, it's not just about the barrel sizes that we're restricted to. We do have more than Ball Blair at our disposal. We yeah. don't, we can't just yeah. go to any distillery. We've got to go through. The There's certain distilleries that, that this particular importer can, can get. get to. Right. So, and at the end of the day, I, I mean, there's we're looking at uh, old Pulteney casks, but old Pulteney is doing a uh, a line change up this year, yeah. and so and they, they are, are because they are they're not committing any barrels to the U.S. market at this point. Doesn't mean we're giving for, up on them <laughs> for single cask <laughs> release. Um, but uh, you know, it's just one of those things. If they come back and say, "Hey, you know what? We got three barrels that we can send over. We're first in line." So right, to, to get sample. Oh, so old Pulteney might be a possibility still. Spayburn. Uh, Spayburn might be a possibility still. Um, so then, I mean, we're still working on a few. Um, I, honestly, I like the So Six. It's not bad. Um, is it a three? No, I don't know. What Bud Matthews? <laughs> Atta boy, bud. Atta no. boy, bud. So, I mean, you know what? So, when we talked about, there were four distilleries that our importer can get to that can get get us for. And so, um, the four are Ball Blair, Old Pulteney, Spayburn, and Anak, right? And obviously, we all were drawn to the Ball Blair and the Old Pulteneys, right? Well, we've got to go. But I got I to gotta, I gotta be honest. After getting involved with the SMWS, I'm not as afraid to try cast strength whiskeys on some of what you would think are not prestigious distilleries, that the higher... Yeah. I'm telling you, I've had some, some distilleries from SMWS that I never even would have touched. I'd be like, I, not only did I never heard of them, but I'm not giving you 20 bucks for them. And then I get them in an SMWS at cast strength, and I'm like, oh my Lord, that is absolutely delicious. Yeah. So, you know what? If these we ball need, blares don't work, say, yeah. I think we need to get the samples of the Spayburn over here, because, you know what? Who yeah. knows? Maybe... Maybe we find if it. I don't care what it says on the bottle uh, where it came well, from. If it's good, to I'll be honest, it. the the ones that Steph sent us those, but that yeah. was a that was a six hundred bottle barrel. Right. I know, yeah, I know. Can't do that. Unfortunately. So the, the, okay, that have potential. This has a lot better potential than the than the O five. Mm -hmm. This one's good. It has it has much. I mean, maybe it's more bourbon esque mm -hmm. because it's got more barrel. In I, I gotta be honest. I would call it a little more bourbon esque. Yeah. I think it's a it little smells bit more bourbon esque. Yeah. <laughs> It's this a little sweeter. It's that got a is, spicy note like to one. it. That's good. <laughs> wow, this one's good. This is good. Oh, be damned. If we got a bottle. Uh, my first bottle's going to be a bourbon. <laughs> no. Shut no, up. No. no, it's not. It's scotch. It's scotch. All Blair is scotch. <laughs> but it does have a more bourbon-esque characteristic about it. You're going to like the palate in this one, though, Mike. Have you tasted it yet? No. It doesn't have that corn in there. No. No, no it doesn't have corn. Way better than that. This could I, be, this could I like be this three. one. Mm. This could be mm. a three. Well, like, what am I getting on that? Oh. Man, how do people choose on one, like, 
So yeah, I'm gonna bottle that, and all I tasted was this. I mean, you gotta. But I just had a just, know. just had a thought pop in my head. The fact why you're thinking is that that I want to thank you guys that opened my eyes to the sky. <laughs> <because laughs> <laughs> a couple of years ago now. Dude, I, I remember you sitting in front with Chad and watching us and like giggling like you like, guys. Whatever. <laughs> That's <just> gross as <laughs> hell. I hate scotch. Look at now look so, at you. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, man. I'm, right. I, I, see, I hear what you're saying, is, everyone, but I'm not going to say never. Honestly, I, I trust ooh, me, ooh. there's been some of the MSMWS <laughs> bottles. Did you see just, Tom? No. So we need to do four away. different bottles just like our coins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Oh, my God. <laughs> In about five years, man. I would you guys love know. to do that. Are you going to be our silent investor? Yeah, yeah. we're going to need somebody in the back end to put the money up, Tom. Oh. You're going to have worry. to put down World of Warcraft for a few years if you don't mind. <laughs> He's like, yes, screw you. you convert some yeah. of that coin into... Right, real world money? I, this I is, like this, this one. Good. Oh, this wait a minute. See, yeah, now the nose just came out of a lot of... Taste, I'm empty. I, so, I'm... Dude, come I'm, on. The, man, it's, man, it's only a one-hour show. Man. What the hell? No, it's well, not. Tell us ain't nothing that. I got oh, 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 We're gonna go watch Shaq. So the water improved it. It did. Improved That's it? always yes. a good sign. Yes, it did. Well, it's put 55, a drop of, right? Put a drop mm -hmm. of water on that. Be very right. careful in your water. All right. I put a couple drops in and it was nice. So That's, that that O six has potential. This is, this is probably close to a three for me. I, I would need I, I needed some other casts though, because while that is good, I'm sure there are other casts out there that yeah. are available. Yeah. And you know what? I'll go ahead and First pass, 06 burn. is beating 05. Yes. All right. By a long shot. Big time. Um, wow. I was a little let down on the 05. I was hoping for more. I think the 05 beat the 05 bottle version. I do, version. too. Yes. I do too. But... Yeah, the 06 is better than the 05. So, I, I what I absolutely love about this, guys, is everybody's oh, like, well, that. how old is it? And we're like, well, still aging. <laughs> it's, it's not done it's, yet. It's, uh, what year is it? <laughs> it's a non-age statement. It's a non-age statement at this point in time, boys, because it's still in you. Well, so right now it's 13, 13 years. 18, 19, it's 19 now. So, so 13 06. years. Oh, 06. So so that thirteen hard, so man. thirteen years. Charles, we're on to something. <laughs> Charles, we're on to something. I was thinking the five. Uh, five. <laughs> Scotch okay. for dummy set. All right, so F I like it with the so water far. too. I'll tell you right now, you guys should buy this one. This is yeah. Good. I think they have a water in too. So this is something really, really out of it. Yeah, the water on it is actually Very. pretty good. And Malt and beer, banana peel. And that yeah. doesn't normally happen with Reminds every Reminds me a little this bottle. Maltiness. Which what bottle is that? Oh. 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 Do you think, would you like to open that bottle? I have been waiting. Yeah, we, we got, we are so behind right now, you guys. What time is it? We're all getting, the wheels are off. Oh, Molly's it's, coming it's, over it's for pretzels. We need to get to the I know. Guess so the let me, let me do this. Up. All right. So right now, it's as it stands, 06 tonight. is, I Drunk think, version. on top of 05. No. Yes. Um, I think 06 actually may be in the running. It, it's it's definitely yes. not counted out yet. I like this one. I would um, say so, yes. 05's oh, out, 06 oh, maybe. I would, if I had to guesstimate a a number for the 06, oh, I would put it at like a 275 for between between <laughs> the four of us. I oh, just yeah. did. <laughs> between the four of us. I think it would okay, probably land. I, I, so, but yeah. between a 2, 5, and I'm a 3. Gonna, I'm not going to put it. It's really close same to price, a 3. Uh, same yeah. price point? Yeah. yeah. Yep. I'm not going to put a number. It's it's in two, the run. Three, I'll say that. But I also say, even though Old Pulteney has not um, said they're going to, uh, they've not promised any They've not it. not said. They've not not. It. So I'm not giving up on it yet. I'm going to push the buttons. I'm going to bring fact, the drink. As a matter of fact, let's talk about that real quick as we get prepped for this. Right. You want to get those out? No. While we're talking, yeah. all right. So we had a uh, conference call. Because Scotch for Dummies got on a conference call this week. Why not? It's hilarious, right? No. Middle of the day, we get on a conference call with <laughs> Steph Ridgeway, which is just like, like the four of us don't need to be on a conference call. No, like, especially that just, with Steph Ridgeway. That yeah. just shouldn't yeah. happen. Yeah. Middle of the day, we're all we're doing other scared. stuff. We we drop everything to go be on this conference call with her. Oh, and afterwards, Sean. you just want to drink. <laughs> Yeah, right? Because we just talked about booze the whole time. Like, I can't do this for a living, probably. Um, anyway, 
So Steph is going to Scotland. Uh, March. March, right? Uh, she's going to be at Old Pulteney. Dun, dun, dun. While she's at Old Pulteney, awesome. she and the master distiller are, are going to call us and we're going to interview the master distiller from Bam. Old Pulteney. From OP. Wow. Mic drop. Going to be alive. So uh, we don't know what time that's going to happen yet because of the time differences. We're thinking it's going to be somewhere Probably around between three, three, three to four o'clock. Three Eastern. 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 Um, so that's going to be awesome. It's going to be epic. And if you guys think that we are not going to like kind of try and twist arms and and get them to send us a sample of the cast that we can bring over, we're totally going to do that. Shameless, dude. Just Shameless. It. I'm on it. Uh, I'm, uh, it. I'm all about whoring out to get a, a <laughs> cask of whiskey. Right? It, it says, says Scotch. I'm taking this one so far. It's pretty good. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good. We'll so, save it for the end. And, and who knows? I, we're not giving up on the other two distilleries that we can get into with this importer. So we're going to work through this, but we want to so work through it better. with you guys. That's why we took up so much of the live show to, to talk good. through this because it doesn't have we're to doing it to, to hopefully dark get a bottle to everybody. And like I said, we are going to get the empty cask it's from good. whoever we go with. We are going to chop the empty cask up, and every bottle will we'll have a, a piece of the cask that it matured in, which I think is going to be cool. Very cool. Um, maybe I mean, we have can, your own bottle hanger from that yeah, cask. Yeah, get it laser in. etched Charles. with the date and scotch for dummies. I, who knows? But um, we're working on it. So hopefully you guys stick with us through this process. I think so, Tom. I think so. We'll see. But so she's, she's going to be here. What town say? Is Steph going to be back for opinions? I think she is. Yes. Yes. Uh, she's Well, she's going to be at Whiskey Fest. She's going to be there for like three yeah. days. So, yeah, yeah, we're going to hang out with her a lot. So. Yeah. And we're going to be calling you, Tom. Because Steph's really cool. So, let's, so let's we're looking forward to hanging out. I just want to let's move on. So <laughs> That's going to be a pal. bad idea, man. Here's the deal. So, we, uh, Water, please. we're doing a guest to Dram tonight. Thank you, sir. Because we're Discord. already... Discord... This is from Discord. Yeah, yep. we did a poll today in Discord, and uh, man, guess the drain. It was between what? I, Jeopardy. I'll finish this. Uh, I thought that 06 was answer, good. Whatever, yeah. and then but I had water drink. on it, and it was and just drink. Drink. But guess the drain won, so it had the yeah. most votes. So apparently, you guys like guess this. the drain. So what's the deal, Mike? What you said? What you points. got here? Talk to I you. picked out four different. Scotches. For all scotches. The guys. They're all. So scotches? these are all scotches. Told us they're scotches. Maybe. <laughs> Wait a minute. I mean, come on. Let's. How am I you're, supposed to guess the tram? Yours, yours is rum. rum. Yours looks like Ron so. Jeremy. Mine looks like my like, oh, I don't know if it is. Ron Jeremy right there. Ron Jeremy. It beats the other one and down there. <laughs> BBD. But, uh, so your, Lee knows what that is. She was in this bar. Yeah, it that, smells like sweaty crocs. So, yeah, we have to but, turn uh, the chat uh, off, you guys, so we can't see because Mike is going to chat with you. I'm going to post. And um, going to tell you what we have in what they have. our glasses. There you go. I hope mine's cast strength. So I have the Aqua Vitae because I'm wearing the Aqua Vitae. Sure. I've got my Scotch Whore coin. Um, I have no idea what's in this. I'm going to test it. All right. Ooh, test, 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 test. <laughs> Dude, I can't go that long. Mark is... goes for like five minutes. I know. Like, I'd be like, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> So let me. You gotta want it. Are we allowed to ask any questions about this? We have to. Is it bigger than a bread box? I mean, is this natural color? (laughs) (laughs) No. (laughs) Look who you're asking. I I bet you got uh, teapot. (laughs) (laughs) I could be so lucky. Uh, Okay, I'm gonna step. I mean, it's the colors right. So I can tell everybody Mm. what I've got for you guys. There's a lot of flavor. Oh, that's interesting. This might. If I, if I could bottle this, I think I probably would. Somebody already did. I know. Because <laughs> they felt the same way. <laughs> well, that's really good. <laughs> Move. I'm sorry, blocking the camera here, but I think I got something good. I just want to make oh, sure. Sherry on this. All right. Da, 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 oh, sweet. There's there's 80 bottles of scotch on the bar. I don't care. I got this. Do you? Yeah. Do you? I'm feeling good. Well, I can tell you, mine you is... No. I don't know. I haven't tasted it, but I, I mean, on the nose, I see Mine it. is not sherry cask or anything. It's just straight up ex-bourbon. Man, mine is sweet. It's all over the place. <clears throat> that reminds me of Bob Blair, actually. <laughs> I don't think I need to taste it. You know what it is? Really? One of these two? I smell. Sure, you can, you can smell. Ooh, I don't awesome. need it. Oh, my gosh. Let me smell. 
That's pretty. I know what that is. Ah, I think I got. I three. know what that is too. Did you get an easy one? I think you nailed it. You didn't even have to smell it. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? He said, teapot. He goes, that's, that's you got te- it smells like teapot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Even I know that one. Shit, I'll drink that. I can I can pick that out by color. I know. <laughs> it's just like super. Your scotch shit. looks like black coffee. I know. <laughs> Let me taste it just to make sure. Put an angle in it. All right. So this is like the sherry bomb. Drew, what you got? I don't know. I got apricots. I got fruit. Um, That's it. It. No, what you're saying. I, I, quick finish. At a heartbeat, I might get distracted and say it was the Parliament, but I, I just, I don't think it is. I've got Parliament at home. I've had it for the last couple of weeks. I've had a couple of drams. I'm gonna go with um. I'm gonna go it with has teapot. To be teapot. Is it teapot? I'm, I'm gonna go with Glen Glen teapot. teapot. You can say yes or no. Is Mark teapot? No. Oh, oh you're wrong. wrong. Boom. It's taste. It's all the freaking right stuff. You so want me to help ask, you with it? No. <laughs> it's smoke. I mean, it, it had. No. To, it smell mine. What do you got in mine? Hang no. On. Okay. Okay, I'll get back in frame now. It's not a tan do. But this is super sweet. <laughs> <laughs> but I need to get it back out of frame so you guys can look. Hang on. So I'll be over here. Hang on. Anybody? Hang on. I think he's full of No, I want teapot. Can, can I ask for the ABV on this one? If he's saying I it's didn't not, write it down. Yours were, for okay. some reason I didn't write Is it about do you know if it's above forty six? I'm not gonna I'm, I will not i will not look away so you, you can look, look that you can way look directly at it. Okay, you walk this way. This is hard. I don't think it's that high. But I think that's forty six. It's in it mine's in that range. But if you say it's definitely it's around forty six, I would say. Okay, yes. Is that right? Okay. Is it 46? Yes. Okay. All right. Yes, it is. I can't believe I got that. That's cool. Next to the Glen Grand 18. It's got a little cherry finish to it. And sweet. Not that side. Wow. This one? Oh, do you get the Parliament? It's got to be one. I mean, it's got to be Glendronic. Maybe mine is, because mine's super sweet. Mine's not as dark as that one, though. Is it? Yes. It is. Ah! Good job. Look at that. I knew it was oh, Glendrung. I said the teapot, and I'm like, gosh dang it, it's either that or the Glendrung. It had to be one Good of the two. As Good dark job. as that is. Man, that's got more. Like, All right, help me out with this one. <laughs> it's, it smells like a, a fishing trip to me. I mean, that one's it's, got it's like, got that it's got like an old leather. Yeah, mine is super sweet. Man. And it's a higher ABV one. I'm going to say Mine is definitely a scotch, right? 48, a scotch? maybe 50. Move your hand. Let me see the color of yeah, that's it. That's a good question. Mine is scotch. No. Let me see the color of it, Sean. Lower or higher? Oh, there's another question. Higher. <laughs> Let me see. Not for me, it didn't. Mine is scotch. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking the wrong dude. It's like a 30. <laughs> it's like a What are you talking about? Can you bring me some actual whiskey? <laughs> it's just like an aperitif. It's a fireball. Chicken cock. Chicken. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Mine is a scotch, is that correct? Yes, yeah, yours is a scotch. Hmm, right. damn. That's, That's the curveball. That's the curveball. Right. Is mine a scotch? Right. The palace, the curveball. Yes, it is hot. Is mine from the island? Or is it a mainland scotch? You're asking the wrong dude. It's a mainland scotch. <laughs> it's... Yeah, okay. that's a main I figured. Hey, can 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 I see that spade run fifteen down there, please? You want to see what they are, Mark? No, Since no, already, no, I don't. Already, no, I'm working them. I'm working with the boys. Uh, Hang on a second. I'm, I'm in the middle of something. I want to see the ABV on this. That's not hot enough. No, it's not. Damn. Okay. Um, <laughs> what's that Deanston 18? Well, it's not open. Damn it. Is this a? I know. I almost grabbed that, but it wasn't open. I wasn't sure if you got. Is this? It's just a regular bottling. It's not an independent bottler, right? Correct. No, okay. this, is, this, is, this is nothing major. I mean, no. Let me smell does that. Does it taste like that tomato? Really? You know what? That tomato's not dark enough. No, but what? What's that other spray burn down there? This one. None of those are hot enough. 
You sure? I thought one of them was what, hot. What I thought one of them say? was hot. I was thinking about fifty. Was what's the 55? one with the What's the one with the um, the, the, the um, bottle hanger, Andrew? Fifty-seven three. It's paper ten. What's the, What's the um, heat on it? Really? Yeah. It's Sixty. Not dark enough anymore. No one lower. Fifty-nine. Fifty-eight. So is, little is, higher. Is this a spaber? No. Damn. Like fifty-eight. So and clearly, a half. I don't know Scott. That's hot, do you man. Like them. I, I know do. you do. I, love oh, it. I like mine. <laughs> do I like, you like yours. <laughs> This is this has enough flavor in it, the sweetness in it. I, I, it's really it's good. I, if, if we had the option of doing this, I'll ask you what you ask me. Would you buy it? Yes. I yeah. Would. Well, of course it's not. Yeah. I'd buy yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thing, so. All right, man. Um, so you guys, we should probably pick. Okay. All right. So you guys got to pick got? something. I'm out. I mean, I, I picked. What you got? It's not a spammer. It's not a damn do. I'm gonna send it to Matten. I don't know. I, I don't think it is because the color's not right. You need something sweet? I don't know what I've got up there that's that hot, though. I don't see anything with that heat this either. This is an SMWS. No, no, no there's no, no independent bottles there. No independent He said they're all... They're all... Is, I it, will. A, is it a tan? Oh, this is going to give it away for Drew. Bananas a little bit. Hey, what's the... um? What's what's the ABV on that Telebrine Twenty up there? The Tamdu is the only one up there that, that I think's hot. Is it forty-three? Is it no? Um, no. Does it start with a G? Yours? Yeah. No. What's this? Is this yours? I, Shoot, I, man! I, I wish I would have done better. I'm no, sure. these are hard, man. That's a, that's actually cool. That I... All right, I give up. What what is this? Yours is Tamdu. Tamdu. Yep. Nope. Batch one. That's tough. And you know why it's tough? Because we haven't to, drank We them. haven't drank it. And, <laughs> and because it's in this bottle. Honestly, I mean, I'm sitting there looking at those bottles. I, so, different story. Don't that's me. got the color uh, that I'm going to at least yours? go for. Because yeah. I was telling you, I'm like, move your hand. I want to see how dark that is. I kept avoiding that because I didn't think that was that sweet. Let me smell yours. Sorry, man. You want to know? This one. Did I pick that one? I, I sm it, that's what it smells like to me. Well, yeah, without you know. I'm. So I, I wish I would have done better. I was I, looking. I got orange and apricots in the nose. I can't. So, yeah, so this, this, this is why we're looking at trying to get an Opoli bottle. That's blue. Because if this is bottle of cast strength, oh my you god, you blue. Right. How do you bring up what's open already? That's, that's blue. blue. That's blue. I didn't know that's it would go right back. Drews. To Hell yeah. Johnny Walker blue. Wow. Really? Yours was. Hell yeah. Bob H. knows what's up. Need some beer and react to close out the I night. Never Bring me the bottle. Blue. That's really nice. I don't it know. Good. But I don't know. I didn't no, know. No, no, no. I feel like I cheated oh, a little bit, you guys, because this yeah. one was a little easy. Man, nice. Let me tell you guys a story. Oh, I like this. You like that? You want to hear a story? Yeah. Mm. I tried to like ground a fireside, right? That you guys would like. Well, I was yeah, part of that story. This bottle. I don't really consider this my wheelhouse, but this is really good. This was the first time that those two gave us the Scotch for Dummies card and told us to go to the liquor store. Should not have done that, right? Yeah, so you, I, I had a Scotch for Dummies card. You didn't even have one. At the no, time. I, I, I didn't even know how to use it. Right. We, didn't, right? we couldn't even use it. Luckily, they don't care at the liquor store because they know we're good for it. But we're looking through the, the, the Vine and Table liquor selection, and they have this bottle, and they've got a, a little placard up there describing how awesome it is, and we're like, That's you know, that sounds pretty good. And Dennis, the, the manager, suggested it. And we're like, you know what? He was like, this has something for everybody in the group. You know what? Awesome. So we buy this bottle. We bring it home. Cool bottle. Yeah. And uh, it's just heaven in a glass. And then the distillery gets bought, and they don't make any more. And it makes us super sad, right? So then Bob H. finds a bottle, and he buys it, and he doesn't like Pete. At the time. At the so time. he doesn't want to drink it. He's saving it for us. Literally, yeah. So I go out there. Yeah. So you go out there. You meet Bob. You meet KB. They send us the bottle, right? It and it home. sits on the bar because we're all going to... Before we can open it, Bob and KB discover so Pete. And everybody's had that experience, right? Where it's just a mind-blowing, like, oh, Pete, I totally get you now. So they're like, don't open that bottle. We're going to drink it together. You guys are coming out here. We'll drink it there. So we bring it back Ooh. to New York. So we bring it back to New York. And 
that's where we left it. We all had like a dram while we were out there, and that was the end and of Bob's it. Bob's like, and it's Bob's the got with the you. bottle. <laughs> <laughs> so then, a, <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, there's a bottle at a liquor, like a random liquor store in Connecticut. Bob buys it before we, like while we're on the show, before I can buy it, Bob buys it and sends it to Mark. So we've just been waiting patiently. Here it is. Because according to Bob, this is the last bottle of Solstice <laughs> in, in the United States. In the United States right? And we just ripped the foil off because we're going to drink this bad boy. right? So this is a lonely zebra out on the plane. Right? <laughs> Thinking everything's cool. And I'm a cheetah. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. We shot at and we're going to take it down. Is that Rick? Yeah, it's like mm-hmm. choking out a mountain lion. Oh, I was going to say, that, that, don't tell no, me. No, man. Tamdu. I was like, that was like this much. That was your first pour of Ben Rick? Were you crazy? No, oh, man. <laughs> I hear what I said. What's that? It's like choking out a mountain lion. Hell, yeah. Choking out a mountain lion. All right. I'm so, telling you, right, man. One more giveaway. What's the giveaway? The, uh, Dinner with the Mark. Uh, Bob. Dinner with Mark. Thank you, Who sir. Oh, I'm right. so glad we have another dram of this. Right. So what I need, if you from not, everybody, if you've not commented in the last five minutes, comment right now, right now, and say right now. Tell us if you're drinking anything because Nightbot is Nightbot is going to pick a random person that has commented in the last five minutes. You can say like, "Hello, lover." Mark's a good-looking guy. Something. These guys all pick on me. <laughs> Please don't lie. <laughs> Put an ankle in it. Put an ankle in it. So why am I bringing out a small glass? Um, it's it's I'm I'm tickled that? pink that we actually have a bottle of this. I mean I know it's not going to last, That's guys, but we're going to enjoy the hell out of it. Oh um, my god! The reason why we bought this, we wouldn't have never bought it. I didn't know anything about Ben Rigg. Never heard of Ben Rigg. Dennis, uh, the the manager up there, he's like, you guys, this this is this is the bomb. This is a good bottle. You need to try this. And so we took a whim and, and came home and we opened it up and we're like, dun dun dun. Oh, this damn. Is, this is <laughs> it's good. I had yeah. happily peated is no joke. Totally had forgotten. So, Did you I, see, I don't think it smells heavily peated anymore. And that brings it up a topic I was going to ask you guys. Do you think, and I, I've heard somebody else say this, do you think that once you become, you get into the peated whiskeys and it's you become a peated, peated. You, you sort of lose your sensitivity to peat? Because now I come yeah, back to some, some bottles and they're like lightly peated and I'm like, Hello, lightly sir. peated? My, I don't smell any peat in there. You I, know? I think to a, a certain degree. I, I'm reading the book that uh, KB bought for us mm-hmm. and it, it's funny because they were talking about um, the olfactory nerves are in your like hindbrain. They're like really primitive and so they bring up a lot of memory and there's a lot of right. smell brings back a lot of of For old sure. things, right? right? Like you equate More than, what you're right. smelling to right. childhood thing. memories, right. to things that you're familiar with. Right. Like it's very specific to people. And that's why there is no right or wrong answer when you're nosing a scotch, when you're tasting a scotch. All of those things that you're getting are, are you know, relate to the people that are drinking it. So because your childhood was different than mine, you know, when you smell a scotch, you get you know, toast. beans and toast and things like that that you remember as a kid, you know, and, and the same with me. Right. You know, and so we're going to pull different things out just because of that. Um, but they were also talking about the fact that, you know, there are people that can remember, you know, that dram they had 20 years ago. And I, yeah. I can't do that with every dram, but... There are certain glasses that I'm For like, sure. absolutely, sure. Yeah. right? Like, I remember us the drinking Glendron, the Port I Ellen. I knew that, that was a Glendron yep. as soon as I smelled it. I remember drinking the Port Ellen. I oh, remember yeah. drinking the Solstice. The you know, mile. yeah. I mean, there there are scotches that have a unique palate yeah. and they're just really good scotches that you just so much enjoy that it kind of burns into your memory, and that's awesome. And this is definitely one. This is one I could just smell. Other than the fact that then, you know, they did away with it, right? You're yeah, like, well, I, dirty I just, bastards. I mean, <laughs> which is going to make us appreciate this one a little bit more because we know she's, and you know, you know what? what's gone. And the story in uh, soon. That, <laughs> ah, whatever, <laughs> man. <laughs> Shut up, Scott. Oh, so, man, so we need yes, to get together. He's just mad because he doesn't have a dram of it. So this is where we're out here. We need to get him out right, here. We need to get to dice. Chicago. Roll the dice. All right, so we're going to pick the winner right now. And what are the, what's the winner getting? Nightbot. He's going to get a, or she, or he, is going to get a... Coin? 
A bottle hanger. A bottle hanger. Oh, bottle hanger. We're giving away a bottle hanger. All right. Ready? And Scott getting a bottle of solstice. The winner is Jimmy T. Jimmy, Jimmy T. T. Jimmy, Jimmy T. T has won the giveaway. You need to email so, us at scoutsfordummies gmail dot com. Your address. <laughs> he thought Bert was talking. <laughs> Eric, wait! You did two drink scotch when you were a child. <laughs> so Jimmy T, congratulations on your win of the bottle hanger from us. We will ship it to you. Just make sure you email us your address at scotchfordummies at gmail dot com. Yep. And we'll ship it out to you this week. Yep. Or next week. Scotch yeah. for So what? At so I gotta ask Miggs if he actually received his bottle hanger yet or not. He should have. So I saw he was on. Yeah, he's right there. Man, there he is. He said, "Woohoo!" <laughs> right on. Nice job, buddy. Guys, we are we are definitely late. We have passed. Brad, our- that solstice is oh, the seventeen-year-old port. Fifteen minutes over. Minutes over. It's yeah. Okay, but we the wheels come off. I know my yeah. wheels will come off. Um, oh, I'm um, gonna just sit and enjoy this. We've gotten into a lot. Yeah, we've got a lot going on. Recap, maybe. Yeah. 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 Oh, Recap. So. Uh, dinner. Dinner. Whiskey dinner. Whiskey Two dinner. If you are within striking distance and you want to come to the dinner in Indianapolis, go on ricksboatyard.com and go to our special events tab. You can what buy are you gonna get on dinner? there. Or scotchfordummies.com and for some yep. tickets. Scotchfordummies.com. You can get tickets there as well. <laughs> uh, well, either way, it doesn't matter. It moves. Uh, but uh, it's a three course dinner. We're doing. Um, Smoked duck and salmon for the first course. We're doing oysters Rockefeller for the second course. Oh, and we're having a uh, meatloaf stuffed with roasted red peppers and provolone oh, cheese. With a green peppercorn demi glace for the third course. We are doing uh, Deanston and Boone Haven. Boney. Uh, we're Boone doing Haven. about six glasses, uh, six mm-hmm. drinks. Throughout the dinner, um, and you get a bottle of Deanston Virgin Oak to take home with you. So Scott's messing with you. All right, so the dinner. If you're if you're within striking distance, you're coming close, to the dinner. Scott, the uh, are off. Oh, Scott I will tell you that there are very few people who have better stories than me. <laughs> that is true. Too. So he's got some good stories. We've got Whiskey Fest in Chicago in coming up in next March. month, end of March. Make sure if you guys can make it to that. We're gonna we're gonna have a good time. Have a good time. It's yeah. the wheels are gonna come off in Chicago. Last call for um, thumbs. Everybody, um, everybody thumbs can up. get to, um, to Chicago. I mean, yep. Where's Amy? Um, we will continue <laughs> to taste these samples from Bob Blair. Hopefully, we're gonna get some samples coming in from uh, another distillery or two. Op, hopefully, maybe Spayburn. Uh, we're still in the hunt. Obviously, we've got one that's in the running as of tonight. Um, what else do we got? One more thing I was going to talk about. What else? What is it? Oh, buying a cask of whiskey. Yeah, buying a cask. We have a couple of guests coming up. Obviously, we've got um, Steph uh, Ridgeway from Old Pulteney next month, um, and so hopefully between now and then, we're going to have someone from Glen Rothis that we met out yep. in New York City. Um, finally, got back in touch with us, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna get to him scheduled, and hopefully do some. I think Glen Rothis has some stuff going on, and hopefully he can. Bring I'm supposed some to have stuff. the entire line, so well. I know one thing, the, the Glen Rothis that we brought back from Kansas, Scott, uh, just finally went back home to Drew's house, and that's uh, a shame, because it's good. I got about one bottle well, of Glen Rothis. Why didn't I buy one? Like, <laughs> hey, Scott, as a matter of fact, can you still get any of those bottles of Glen Rothis? And if you can, you know, can you... Ship some salsa to us? Can you ship some salsa to us? Um, everybody else, uh, keep on the lookout for our reviews about giveaways and stuff, because we're, we're trying to get friendly and creative and trying to make ways to, to be able to get you guys involved more, right? Get on Discord. Um, Discord, don't forget that. Have fun, love talking to you. Yep. Mm-hmm. Thanks for the, uh, the the little game we played tonight about guessing the drums. Yep. That was fun. That was tough, that man. Was- Man, yeah, I got a freaking. I got a. You know what that game taught me? Taste. We need to drink all of the Tam Dews. <laughs> yeah. So, what's going on? Tam Dew flight. What else? Eeny, meeny, miny, go. That's it. Cheers, Thank you fellas. so much, Cheers. everybody, for t- tuning in and staying with us the whole time. We had a great show tonight, guys. Yep. Loved having Thursday. you guys with us. Thanks week. for the Ben Rick, Bob. Oh, my God. Talk to you.